Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in the previous lecture, we discussed about how to implement singleton design pattern using uh, eager initialization. And uh, prior to discussing about or prior to discussing about the implementation of eager initialization for singleton design pattern, we discussed about the challenges in singleton design pattern related to multi-threading. And we, then we discussed about what is thread safety in singleton design pattern and how to achieve it using eager initialization. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about achieving the thread safety using the synchronized keyword. So let me uh, jump to the lazy initialization first. So in the lazy initialization, what we need to do, uh, we were uh, like uh, getting the instance on the uh, whenever we need, right? We were calling the get instance method and we were doing it. So in this method itself, if I'll put this, put a synchronized keyword, then also I can achieve the um, thread safety. Let me jump onto the actual code, how I can achieve it. So if you look at it, this is a class, right? Uh, don't go by its name, right? It is, I have written the class name, anything you can write, right? Uh, private static, it is similar to what we have discussed so far in the lazy initialization. Only change which I have brought in is synchronized keyword. So synchronized keyword in Java is responsible for locking a particular resource. So in this case, what will happen as soon as one thread will, will get into this, right? What will happen? It will be locked by that particular uh, thread and second thread won't come inside this and it won't interfere. So this is how we can achieve the thread safety using the synchronized keyword. If you want to look at, uh, if you want to understand what is synchronized, so please uh, go through some video over the internet or uh, Google. I'll try to provide uh, some video on the thread safety in the in future. I mean, so that is it on how to achieve uh, thread safety using the uh, synchronized keyword in a singleton design pattern. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about how to achieve thread safety using the double check mechanism in singleton. And that is the best uh, way to achieve the thread safety. Uh, so that is it for now. Thank you for watching.